Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends. And I have a complaint to make. You guys are always late. But it's okay. I will pray to the shin of Allah to forgive you all. And you know, if you pray to the shin of Allah, Allah will reward you a lot of versions. And we will talk about those versions today. But before we go there, I want to go to the previous video because I got some comment from our friends, the Hindus. Uh, so we will read just a very few of them before we go with our topic. Our friend here, I don't know, sorry how to read your name, my friend. Forgive me. My uh, <coughs> Indian uh, uh, language skills is uh, not that good. I know how to say curry, you know, and I don't know even that if that word is correct because in English sometimes they say words have nothing to do with the original. Okay, so here our friend uh, Binji, Binji Cord, said, I sense your confusion, CP, but your choice in word in this video look like you are struggling to get a solid uh, angle of attack. Hmm. Well, my friend, in one hand you say confusion, in one hand you say attack. And uh, I thought the guy make it so clear, so why I'm being confused? There's one of two reasons. Either I have a low IQ, according to you, and you, uh, uh, Sadhguru, and those who follow him, they are so smart, and the rest of us are stupid. It's possible. But look what your friend, he said in the video, you can go watch it. He said, love is fake. It's just a reaction for emotion. No problem. If we ask Sadhguru, do you love your wife? What he will say? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you love your daughter? He will say yes. But, but this is fake. It's somebody nice to you. You have reaction. So here you see the stupidity from the beginning. It have no base. And not only that, my friend, Mr. Binji, if you come back home and you find your wife in the sitting in the top of your neighbor, don't complain because love is fake. According to your guru, if somebody is nice to you, uh, you feel good about them. The more nice to you, you know, and then when they are so nice, you love them. All right. So if your neighbor is nicer to your wife more than you, she have the right to sit in the top of him and she will love him because this is love is fake. Remember, it's just reaction. So your logic is accurate and stupid. Actually, this logic can destroy society because now everything around us is fake. Everything is just emotion and a reaction. So if somebody is nice to me, I love the person. If somebody is not nice, nice to me, what if a person, he is your mother and she is nice to you, not nice to you because you are doing wrong. So you hate her. So. The logic is broken, it's stupid, it works with those who they are just enjoying the skills of language. Otherwise your guru is a stupid guru. He is successful in making money, I have to admit. All cult leaders, they are successful in making money. And this is why you will see your guru flying all the way to Beverly Hills. Okay, what he have to do with Beverly Hills? As who is waiting for him there? You know, how much money he spent to fly all the way to Beverly Hills. What kind of an airplane seat he had, the guru? What kind of hotel he had? So all this money, if he is a guru, he should not be spending, but I will tell you why he spent it. First of all, he spent nothing. Because now he will go back, telling them that he have a project to make India green. This guy is saving India, but he is doing a project in his land, which he owned by his name, which is a land he stole from the farmers, as many documents shows. So, you know, you can say whatever you want, but your guru is a scam. If you look at the watch in his hand, you see, we have many of like those in our churches too. Don't think this is only about the Hindus. They all exist everywhere. Muhammad is the best example. So we have a priest who they are fraud. We have... There is a lot of people who take advantage of the poor ones and the rich ones. The rich ones, they are seeking entertainment. Those are rich women, blonde, you know. They don't know what to do with their money. Living in Beverly Hills, you know what, Beverly Hills, go check it out. 
So is he willing to make a speech between that tiny village where people need him most? Where is no microphones and lighting and TVs and many donation? Is he willing? No. Uh, then he says, well, as for me, Javanese uh, Christian, as a Japanese Christian, what is that? You're, you're Christian? You're Javanese Christian? What does that mean? I don't know what does that mean. Sadhguru word is not confusing. It, uh, it hit you as a hint, but not confusing at all. Maybe because you have a Javanese and Indian shared similar uh, mindset or philosophy. Uh, you know, first of all, uh, we Christian, we don't have philosophy. We don't believe in philosophies. Philosophy is just a play with art, the art of words. I can convince you with philosophy, with wrong, and I can convince you with philosophy, with the same topic, the same person, the opposite. Very easy. All what you need is someone is extra smart and someone is less intelligent. And that person who is extra smart, he can curve the logic and break it and make it fit for him. It's like a lawyer. A lawyer, what he do? And as you know, you don't know if you know, I have a, I have a degree in law. A lawyer, that's why I don't like to be a, work as a lawyer. What a lawyer he do, he cannot break the law, but he can bend the law, which means he can find a hole here, there. So he make you, even if you are a rapist, he can make you clean. In fact, he can make the, the victim is the criminal. He can switch things upside down because he is smarter than the system. And the system has holes in the, narr the narrative, standard narrative has holes. So your guru have holes all over the place. Same time when he said, uh, uh, when he said love is not real. And then he said, uh, uh, the, the Jewish rabbi, which is, a, which is a same scam anyway, I believe. He said to him, well, give me an example of something is like if love is not real, you know, give me an example of something, uh, you know, like don't live within you and it is not like, you know, not real. He said life, life. But then we showed you the quotation, the guy, he contradicted himself. In one quotation, he says life is not within you. In the other quotation, he says life is within you. So which one? It can be both. And if life is not within us, so where is love? Where, where is life? It's in the tree, not in me. So what I am? I'm dead now? So, you, you know, this is not a philosophy. This is just stupidity. Uh, and then, you know, like he is quoting for us from Matthew and John, etc. My friend, your friend, your friend, the guru, don't even believe in a spirit. He don't believe in such a thing. Each quotation, this person is contradicting for, he's like the Muhammad. You know, Muhammad, he says something yesterday. Second day, he said the opposite. The whole idea, why he said the opposite? Because simply he's trying to prove himself smarter than you. So if you say something now, he opposed you to prove you wrong. To show that he is superior. If the second day you say, you take his position, he will switch to your position to prove you wrong. Because all the point is how he can show that he have his skills and he is a smart and he is, you know, uh, uh, over you. Uh, this is a tribe in Indonesia. Okay, no problem. So he is not uh, not Indian. Uh, he is from uh, Indonesia. All right. Yeah, you see, see how the effect of those false liars, they are going even to affect the Christians. And why a Christian even need to listen to such an idiot? Who don't believe in the spirit? Do you, do you as a Christian? Do you believe in the spirit, or you don't? They believe in free sex. They believe that you know, like ethic, is a is a like a, is a karma, and that karma can change depend in your situation. You know, if you open the book of uh, which they follow, and I made a video about it, it says if a woman, a man, he can sleep around, and women she cannot. Okay, but hold on. So the husband, he can sleep around, but the wife, she cannot, but the husband is sleeping with whom around? Do you see the stupidity? And where is the ethic? Zero ethic. 
And then you want to teach me about spiritual, where, where, where those people they been all those thousands of years when women, they were burned alive when the husband, he died. Where they been when they were cast in system and until now it exists where poor people, they are considered as a trash. Those gurus, my friend, they work for the rich and the money. They are not, they are a scam. And if there is one of them, he worked for the poor, trust me, he will not be famous. They will lock him up and they will put a taboo on him and they will accuse him of many things. Now we go back to our topic about, uh, you know, the Lord, he says to us, from their fruits, you shall know them. From their fruits, you shall know them. I am not a priest. I am not a bishop. I don't claim to be uh, even a, a minister for, for uh, kids. I am not. But uh, uh, always your fruit will expose you. If you are a person who seek, uh, uh, I mean, the guy who owns millions, but he's a guru. A guru supposedly he wear a sheet around his ass and he sit in the ground. And he supposedly he preaching people. What the millions for? And all is written in his name. So from their fruits, you shall know them. As simple as that, you know? When you wear a Rolex and you claim that you are serving Jesus, obviously you are serving Rolex, you are not serving Jesus. You cannot worship to, to Lord, my friend. You cannot, you know? Who is your Lord? Obviously your Lord is money. And this is why if, if poor people, they invited Sadhguru, is he willing to come? Or he will go only to the rich ones? We know the answer. We know the answer. Anyway, we go back to our topic, which is about the heaven of Allah. I'm going to open my Skype so we can enjoy talking to Muslims. As you know, Muslims are very smart people. Uh, actually, I notice uh, based in my uh, experience that Muslims, for some reason, they are above average way above average of societies are everywhere, you know. Uh, you cannot compare, you know, a Muslim person from the same ethnic to someone who is not a Muslim. As an example, Muslims believe that uh, Allah created the earth before the heaven, which is very accurate because the earth does not need a space to put it in. You just put it in the shelf somewhere, you know, like there is no space. So don't we create, create a space before we create the earth? The Muslim, they think that the earth is not even inside the heaven. The Muslim, they believe that Allah, he left up the sky so it doesn't fall on us. He's holding it. The Muslim believe that Allah, he made the sky as a roof. It's a solid roof. The Muslim believe that if shaitan or a human being try to go out to heaven, Allah will shoot his ass with a, with a star. And actually, I see that every night. So we have to admit that Mohammedans are very, very smart people. Uh, let us see. Exposing Christian Prince uh, boys, did Jesus know the hour? A person sending me uh, supposedly a link. I don't open links, but let us call this Abdul. Maybe he can, you know, maybe he can. Oh, the, where is the call? Uh, ah, he have a group. Potato. I think this is the same guy. We spanked him last time. <clears throat> you remember? The guy, he called me and uh, we uh, uh, we got him busted in two seconds. Hmm. You see, this is one of the stupid things the Mohammedan they believe in. The second you ask them who is the one who was to be sacrificed, they say to you, Ishmael. So they bend the story. Muhammad, he came thousands of years after Abraham, and supposedly he will is the one who will tell us about Abraham. And then when you go to the Quran, you will find the Quran itself saying clearly that the one who been to, to be sacrificed is Isaac. The second you show them that from their book, they cry. It's possible to have a private conversation. No, my friend, I don't speak in private. Okay, hello. I heard you are making videos about Islam. I have some questions. I am a Muslim girl that want to ask you some questions about the miracles of the Quran. Oh, okay. Well, I hope your parents next to you, even if you are adult, let us see. We're calling this lady. 
If you are a Muslim would like to join us, please feel free. Text me and I will uh, call you immediately. Look like she is not online. All right. No problem. Let us see another person. This is from yesterday. You are very disgusting a human being. You call yourself an Arabic scholar. You are nobody. How dare you to insult our Muslim women? Hmm. A Muslim is talking about insulting Muslim women. Isn't it your prophet? He says, now Qisatu Aqlin Wadeen. They have half a brain. So if you have a little dignity, you leave Islam, you and your women. Let us try to call this person. Muslims, they defend women, brother, but they beat them. How you insult women? Huh? How you insult women? But we follow Allah and Allah says in chapter 4, verse number 34, beat them, jail them. Mm. Muslims are the human right defenders. Let us see if we have any. Uh, somebody is asking me to join a conference. Uh, no, I'm not a fan of conferences. Okay. All right. If you are a Muslim, please feel free. And don't send me messages for no reason, my friend. I mean, he is uh, a Christian, Christian, please help. Uh, a Muslim, he is a Christian, Christians. Let, uh, bring him here, what I would do. I mean, a Muslim, he can crush Christians. We crush Muhammad every day. Actually, Muhammad have no balls no more since I started crushing his balls since I was a kid. In fact, I can prove that Muhammad has zero balls. Isn't it the Quran says so? Isn't it the Quran says that people are making fun of him because he cannot have kids? And don't tell me that Muhammad had balls. Ah, because simply the Quran says that sperm is coming from the backbone. So who need balls? You know, when you read the Quran, you die laughing. You know, the only religion who believe that balls are located as balls in a Christmas tree is Islam. There's no, no, no job for those balls, according to Allah. They are just for decoration. So your wife, she can play ping pong with them. Like, honey, what is this? Oh, those are two ping pong. So if you break one, we can use the other one. So when a Muslim, he speak about he can crush Christians, hey, we would go, we are here. They are recorded. The video is there. You can download it. You can post it. And the Muslim, if he is a Christian, us, we challenge him to call us. Download the video, post it in your channel. Hmm? What balls? What are you talking about? In Islam, Muslim women have balls. Muslim men, they don't. According to the Quran, you know, women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. Which means women are fooling us. They lie to us. They say to us they have breasts. But the fact they are big, huge balls, especially those who they are done in Thailand. I mean, they are so huge, man. You can break breaks with them. Actually, I saw Al-Qazafi, his, his bodyguard woman, she was breaking the bricks with her one of her breasts, which is made from very hard silicone. I mean, have you ever heard of a God, he say such a thing, that women, they have sperm coming from their ribs? I mean, are you sure they are the ribs, not the hips? Because, I mean, the language is like rips, hips, give me tips. What the heck? What do you do, think about ultimate? This is a kid, we just record him, you know, this is a kid, you know, ultimate, whatever, potato. They don't accept the hadith. They don't accept the tafsir. They don't accept what they do, so they give you their own. And the second you show them from the Quran, clear verses, boom, boom, bye-bye. <laughs> those people they are they, they thought they can play they can escape the humility of the stupid Muhammad by saying I don't accept the hadith so where what is the last name of your prophet he says uh, in Google it says Abdullah in Google I said okay where in Google what do you mean in Google which book is that <laughs> those are the one who want to challenge me they find the name of their prophet in Google
You know, when you see a Muhammad and he says, I don't accept the hadith, he is saying, my prophet, he speak bull, <clears throat> you know what it is. He, this is what he's saying. So he think he can save the ass, his ass and the ass of Muhammad from the embarrassment by saying, I don't accept the hadith. But all the Quran is a hadith. Every single word in the Quran is nothing but a hadith. The Quran is a collection of hadith from the hadith. In fact, the Quran said clearly that this is nothing but a hadith. If I type the word hadith here in the search engine, I will do that in front of you. Hadith. The search engine is weird. Here we go. Do you see how many times it appears? Hadith. 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 Allah keeps saying hadith. Even his word is a hadith. Huh? Even like even the Quran says that Allah will teach you how to explain the hadith, which is what? Which is the Quran. If you don't believe me, read chapter 12, verse number 16. Verse number 6. Allah will give you the interpretation of the hadith. You see, the Muslim translation says the stories. What stories? This is the hadith. Do you see it? This is the Arabic here in Arabic. It says, Ta'wilul Ahadithi. Many hadith. Ta'wil means interpretation. So here you see the Quran saying it clearly that every single word in the Quran is nothing but a hadith. And then those potatoes, they say to you, we don't accept hadith. And then you go to the Muslim cleric, they will say to you, if you don't accept hadith, you are a kafir. All those is saying, Allah making hadith. Do you see it? When Muhammad, he speak about Moses in the Quran, how the Quran described that story? Hadith. وَهَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ مُوسَى did the hadith of Musa's came to you? Read it. The Muslim translated as a story. But this is what it's hadith in Arabic. Hadith is somebody making fairy tale story. Blah, 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 you know, uh, your grandma, she is old. She lost her teeth. She is sitting with a neighbor and she is trying to explain to her something about what the neighbor she did. Did you see her husband? He's fighting with her. Blah, 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 you know, and this is what the Quran is about. And the second you ask the Muhammad, what does this mean? They are in trouble. But remember, all Muslims can refute you. But the second we talk to them, the only way to escape, they think they can escape by saying, I don't accept the hadith. This is why for me, I don't really waste my time with people who they are claiming that they are Muslims, but they don't accept the hadith because simply they don't. They are not Muslims. Those are not Muslims. You know? Those are not Muslims. A Muslim, he will not deny the hadith he will not because if you imagine is imagine a christian denying what jesus said what is left all the quran is a hadith from muhammad anyway and both of them they are written in the same time the quran actually the quran is even uh, uh, later because the hadith start being to be to be collected about 270 something after muhammad the Quran, nobody knows actually when, when the first copy is written. But we don't have any, any copy actually. Even the Quran, they say to you, the Quran of Uthman, it doesn't exist. If you go to the Muslim, if uh, any Arabic Quran, you will see there's a page, not the bent in the print, but in the Qurans I have, not the one the, the goat ate it, the other one, it says, this is printed in Saudi Arabia. This is a Mus'haf. This is not even a Quran. Mus'haf. Mus'haf means papers. Pages. Collection of pages. Written and uh, uh, adopted according to Hafs ibn Sulaiman ibn al-Mughira. Okay, hold on. Who is the first name they start with? Hafs. But Hafs is a person exists more than 200 years after Muhammad. Okay, but do we have even the book of Hafs? No. We have recitation. Even here it says recitation. According to the tell, the tell, not a book. Hafs, he learned the Quran from his father, stepfather. 
and his stepfather and helps both of them accused by Muslim to be fraud. So this is the earliest version, which is not a book. It was a recitation is coming from Hafs. Hafs learned from Asim, you know, and Asim supposedly learned from blah, 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 from Abdul Abdul Rahman, from Ibn Habib al-Salma, from Uthman ibn Affan, from Ali ibn Talib, from Zaid ibn Thabit, from Ibn Kaab, and in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So all those names from, 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 from. And the first from is Hafs and Asim, and both are accused by Muslim to be fraud. All right, there have, we have somebody. Look like he is an uh, Indian. All right. Sorry for calling you. So why are you are calling me? You call me and you feel sorry for it? Okay, no problem. I know those symptoms. Do we have any Mohammedan? They don't even have a book. They don't. A bunch of kids. I can't even use the word kids with them because according to them, Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. And then the Muslim, in order to wash their hand from what it says there, this is why, the, this is why they don't want the hadith because the hadith exposed the stupidity of Muhammad and his evil. More than the Quran, Quran is just a gibberish language. Even those who speak Arabic, they understand nothing of it. This is why you will see the Muslims don't agree about even simple things. If we ask the Muslim now, if a woman, she, you know, get married, she slept with the man. How long it's going to take for the baby to be delivered? You will find that every Islamic school, I mean, this is a very simple common sense. You do not need to be genius and scholar. Simple common sense. If you ask a child, an elementary school kid, he will tell you the answer, the correct answer. The Muslim didn't have even that. Every Islamic sect have different answer for that. And they go extreme with their answers to the point some they say it is four years, some they say it's five, some they say it is six, some they say it's seven, some they say it's unlimited. Unlimited women she is going to carry a baby from you. And then she will call you 20 years after saying to you, Hey, honey, come and see your baby. I just gave birth to him. You will say to her, I divorced her 20 years ago. She will say, this is your son, you idiot. Come take him. Give me child support. Why? Because the Quran is so clear. What is the longest period a woman, she will be pregnant? This is their Muslim website. This is not my website. And here, this, this is the question. And here, the answer. And the answer starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, unlimited. And then first they say, okay, you know, a nine month. Second, and those are a small, tiny number of Muslims believe in nine months. The majority, they don't believe in such a garbage. Nine months is bad. And then, then maximum pregnancy is for one year. This is the opinion of uh, uh, Muhammad ibn al-Hakam, but he's nobody. Let us go to the big scholars. Now, two years, this is the Hanafi. This is one of the biggest sects of Islam and the Sunni. Two years, then we jump. This is Abu Layth ibn Sa'd. Three years, then we jump. Four years, and this is the opinion of Shafi'i and Hanbali. Those are uh, those are alone is more than 50% of Islam. 50% of the Muslim Sunni, they believe that women she can give you a child after four years. This is why a child, a woman she was accused in Sudan during the, the Sharia law uh, 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 government, you know, the previous uh, war criminal who is uh, who ran away from jail just lately when they took her to to, to stone her for fornication because she gave birth after her her, her husband's death uh, the lawyer he showed them what the scholar they say they say she can still give a child from previous husband even four years after well her husband did that pass away just two years ago just two years ago so she was escaped and the court released her because simply oh, okay the scholars they say that so his scholars know best so four years, are we done? No, five years. And this is Imam Malik. This is the third biggest sect of Islam. So there are four sects of the Muslim Sunni. And then 
This six years we have auction. This is an opinion of Azuri and Malik. Malik himself, who said five years, it says he, it's, he says the same Imam Malik. He says it's possible to be six years. Wonderful. You divorce your wife today, six years after she will call you and you have to pay for child support. Then Azuri and Malik did not stop here because it's an auction. They said, you know what? It's possible even seven years. Look, I'm not making things up. It's in front of you. I will give you the link. All right. Then the, the last opinion is there is no limit. What? There is no limit, no limit, my friend. Do you see it? Do you, do, 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 do you see why they wash their hands? From what their stupid prophets say? Do you see? There is no limit. And now what they will say, Christian Prince is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. What the heck? It doesn't? Yes, it doesn't say that, CP. That's it. They solve the problem by saying it doesn't say that, CP. And if you show them a hadith, they say, I don't accept hadith. And if even the one who accept hadith, he will find a reason to say, I don't accept it because this guy, okay, Susu told Fufu, Fufu -fu -fu told Mimi, Mimi told Dudu, Dudu -du -du told Cuckoo. Cuckoo is very well known liar. So therefore, brother, this hadith is uh, fabricated. What the heck? That is super intelligence. Do you see how they wash their hands? I mean, those this religion, they say, we don't believe in our books. So why we should believe in your books, you idiot? If you yourself don't believe in your books, why in the world anyone will believe in yours? Are you mental? This is the link. You don't have to, you know, Maybe I'm giving you a false translation. This is Google translation. This is a very website, support terrorism, well known. And the name of the question actually, Islamic info, al Islam al Jawab, Islamic questions and answer. And this is the answer. And then they will say to you, Christian Prince is lying to you. We show the evidence in the screen. We get them busted live on air. And then they say, it doesn't say that. Now, don't waste my time, please. I want to get my versions. Muslim keep asking me to convert to Islam, and I am really thinking about it. Sharpen my tools. Even though Allah promised me to have endless penis, but I don't know if that will function, because if it's so endless, it's going to be so weak. I can explain more, because there's ladies around. Because the longest it is, the weaker it is. Anything can break it, man. Endless. And how you... <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so this is a religion, brother. It's perfect for everybody. You can beat your wife. You can change them as much as you want. Same as a changing shoes. Women are stupid. You don't listen to them. And yet Muhammad, he says, take your religion from Aisha. I mean, you stupid idiot. How you say women are naqisat wa wa deen, and they have half a brain and they are not even allowed to be a witness in the court, except in the court of money. In that case, you have to bring two women, which you accept plus one man. If there's only two women are not accepted. And now you say to me, take it from the Aisha. We will take what? Aisha, she was doing breastfeeding for adult. And then the Muslim, they say to you, oh, Aisha there, may Allah bless with her. They don't even dare to say she is a scumbag. I mean, the women she is doing breastfeeding for adult. Do a Muslim dare choose to say she is really screwed up? If other Muslim women she start giving her breast to strangers, what the Muslim will do? Uh, Auzu billah, Satan deceiving her. Auzu billah. But this is what your prophet said, and this is what his wife she was doing. Uh, a Muslim, his name is I choose Islam. He said, You disgust me, my friend. I'm so glad. It's time to hear the truth, my friend. That Santa Claus is real, and Muhammad has unknown father. He was born four years after his father, man. And yet, you Muslim, you change the name of his father. You say his name is Abdullah. How he, his father, his name is Abdullah, but he don't believe in Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody, his name, the slave of Allah, but you don't believe in Allah and he will go to hell? Christian Brands, you disgust me. Is that the statement coming from you or from Zachary Naik who ran away, away from me when I went to his chat? Christian Prince, 
But the wall, uh, what that was in the chat? I saw you, man. I saw you looking at your phone. Your face had changed and almost you have a diarrhea. Chris and Prince, what you know? They don't they talk to me. They, they, first of all, the last time I have a diarrhea, it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. The last time you have a diarrhea, you have 10 years ago, do you have witnesses? Chris and Prince, how I can get you witnesses? So how in the world you can get four witnesses for your wife cheating on you? And what kind of logic this logic is? And you have to see the penis of the man going in and out. Prince and Prince, first of all, you can ask the guy. You can say to him, can you please wait for me? I'm going to go and find you for witnesses. There's a Quran in Yuka, are you sure? You are going to ask the guy who is doom, boom, boom to your wife to wait until you go and find four witnesses? Exactly. In fact, in the Hadith, the Prophet he said that the Muslim family had asked him, Brother, Prophet, did not ask him to wait for me? The Prophet said yes. What? What, what, what? Yes, brother. A man come to the prophet. He says, are you saying, prophet, that if I find my wife with a man, should I give him some time until I bring four witnesses? He said, yes, it's in front of you. And this is Sahih. If you need four witnesses and they have to see the penis of the man given, listen, there, we, we, there is a very famous story of a caliphate. They got four witnesses. Three of them, they saw the penis going in and out. One of them, he saw only the legs of the wife, of the woman, around the neck of the guy. And he said to the caliphate, her feet, they were shaking like a, like a, like an uh, ears of donkey. The caliphate did beat them all because they are liars, because there's no enough proof, no four witnesses. So if your wife, excuse me, sitting in the top of your the fornicator who is fornicating with her and she is wearing a skirt, it's impossible to prove it. Even if she, even if you have four witnesses sitting in the top of him and she is doing it because nobody saw the penis going in and out. It's not enough to see the penis after she stands up. It has to be going in and out and you have to witness it. This is religion. And here you ask yourself, if I need four witnesses to see the penis going in and out to prove the point, do we have any four witnesses to prove that Muhammad went to heaven? Do we have four witnesses Muhammad receiving Quran? Do we have four witnesses of Muhammad doing anything? In fact, Muhammad is the only one who used to have sex without witnesses, which means even his wives are not there. The Hadith says that the Prophet, he imagined himself having sexual intercourse, but in fact, he never did. It doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say that. It's in front of me. What's wrong with you, Christian Prince? First of all, let me teach you Arabic. Abdul, this is your translation. First, secondly, I speak Arabic as my first language. Christian Prince, you are not an Arabic, you don't speak Arabic. I challenge you to read for me the Quran. Like, Abdul, come on, give me a break. The Prophet continued for such a such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. So he was imagining what? With who? What he was holding. This man is mentally ill. If you if you go to a doctor and you say to him, I imagine myself and during the daytime having sex, speaking to people, holding women, tickling their nipples. You know, honey, your nipples is so cute. Mm, why you have three nipples? Honey, why you have three nipples? Uh, oh, okay. This is a guy. Those are not nipples. Sorry. So your prophet during daytime imagine himself having sex. This is not when he is sleeping. Do you know what doctors they say about that? How we can trust this guy that he saw an angel? Even his sex is balush. <sighs> tell you about Jannah women. I cannot tell you much about Jannah women. They are so hot, man. What do you mean? And especially when they sing one song for you. And not only that, the women in the Jannah, they are watching you right now. If your wife in earth, she made you angry, do you know what your wives in the Jannah they will do? Nah. They will go crazy. They will scream from Jannah, say to your wife, don't hurt him, don't hurt him, okay? He is just passing by, okay? 
<laughs> Muhammad must be a true story. So the he Muslims women in Jannah they have a TV. They, uh, 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 did Allah install uh, like a web camera for them to watch what's going on inside the house? How she will know that you are fighting with your wife? The Prophet said, whenever a woman harms her husband in this world, oh boy, that without any do right, you click between two bracket, without. So can Muslim women harm her husband with do right? <laughs> Supposedly the Abdul trying to fix it. You see between two bracket. Like you know, you see the bracket. It's me. It's not there. His wife among the Hori's, like one of those many, many. There is millions of them. She will say, "You must not harm him. May Allah destroy you. He is the only passing by as a guest. He is coming to us. Coming, honey, bunny, bunny. The bunny is coming. What the heck is that?" And how how come you Muslim husband don't hear it? When the last time you have a fight with your wife and you heard the the whore saying that your wife, and if nobody can hear it, what the point of saying that? The wife in the her the, in the earth is hurting her bunny, and she's saying, like, "Look how evil the prayer." May Allah destroy you. Is Allah going to answer their prayer, brother? Because they are living in heaven already; they are closer to Allah. May Allah destroy you. Like, not uh, may Allah break your nails. I mean, you see, you say to a woman, may Allah break, break your nails is more, more scary than destroying her. What's wrong with you? Say something useful. Say to her, may Allah make your nails broken. Say to her, may Allah make your eyelashes not long. That hurt. That destroy you. What that will do to her? She died, she don't care. But the broken nail is a fiction. Like it's a very harmful thing. Like what the heck, there's my nails. It's not like how I can go to see my friends now. Where's the nails? You know, make a real threat to women. Something scary, you know? Like say, may Allah make your breasts small. Yeah, that's something, you know, you're getting closer. Huh? Like very small, like very, you know? What the heck is that? This is a religion and this is a prophet of God. I don't know why Sadhguru is not quoting those things in the stage. I think women, they will like it more. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us live on air or dead in air? I don't care. Anyone? <laughs> It is the kid you hang up constantly because you are scared of me, but you are you are not a proper talk. This kid, he keep calling me back. Ah, okay, I will give him a chance. Let us see. <laughs> yes. Yes, my friend. What do you think about what we see in the screen? I will give you a chance. You remember? Last time you start insulting, calling names, saying dirty language, but it's okay. I will forgive you. So, what do you oh, think about? That's, that's nice. Of you. What do you think about the prophet saying that if a woman she mm -hmm. harm her husband on earth, the women in heaven they will curse the wife? I have no problem with it. Well, it, it. Tell me what I am not. I'm, I'm not saying you have a problem, but how she can see what happened in your bedroom. That's like not the right question. The, the point of the hadith is no, that... No, this is the point of the hadith. The woman, is this hadith is it true or it's just a fiction story? Is it a true story? This no, is what no, happened. This is, a, this is a sahih hadith. This is a sound hadith. Okay. And it, it's basically just describing about um, the woman, you know, not being bad to her man. As we see in no all problem. other types no, of situations. No, no problem. The, Listen. Woman, the woman doesn't have fear these days. With her man, he does. She does what she wants. She divorce him. She throw him in jail. She go get okay, another okay, man. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. In listen. Islam, in Islam, yeah. In Islam, just let me finish. Yeah. In Islam, the woman, uh, a God fearing woman, she fears her husband to the point where she's not gonna play those type of games. Sah? No. Okay? In Islam, women are very aggressive. I can show you right now how big a study is made. I, Even the Muslim Ali in Morocco. The Muslim brother, in Morocco. Listen. Ali, the Muslim in the Morocco, Morocco, they have an organization to defend the men from domestic violence. Women, Muslim women in Morocco, mm -hmm. they are beating their husband. I can show it to you right now on the screen. 
But let us not to go there. What about the wife? What about the wife? What about let, let us go? Let us not to go. What about the wives of Muhammad? Okay. Did they abuse Muhammad? And Muhammad could not do anything with them. How did they abuse him? I don't know. Maybe they did beat him. No, they didn't beat him. Okay, then uh, do you see? Nor did, do you, nor, do you, nor, do you nor, see? Nor did Muhammad beat them. Okay, no problem. We will see. For sure, Muhammad cannot beat them. I mean, Muhammad is a, he cannot beat anybody. Hold on, listen. So, this is the Quran. Do you see my screen? Let me pull it up. Which one? Whenever a woman harms? No. I will show you another one. Show me Sahih, just don't show me any silly stuff. I will show you a Da'if Quran. Are you happy now? No, don't show me Da'if anything. What? Don't show me Da'if anything. You don't accept Da'if Quran? There's no Da'if Quran. There's one Quran. I just showed you, I said, I'm going to show you Quran. You said, you said to me, don't show me any Da'if anything. Yeah. Okay, so, so what you are saying to me is, uh, don't show me Da'if if the Quran is not Da'if. You just admit that Quran is Da'if. Okay, so if, no, we, go, if, we, if we go in the Quran, my friend, mm -hmm. is a, the, the Quran is a hadith. The Quran says so. Are you against the Quran? No. The Quran says, uh, I can show you uh, tons of verses. What the Quran is, what does saying, hadith mean in Arabic? Hadith means speech. Hadith mean speech, Arabic? speech, talk. Okay. Ch chit chat, you know? Sure. Yeah, I'm very okay. sure. Yeah, you know? Not chit chat. Yeah, a chit chat. Not chit no problem. We will, we will go there. But let's, let's see how he or your prophet with his wife. Mm -hmm. If you are having a fight with your wife, how many men you need to call to support you in the fight, Mr. I don't know what to call you. Call, call, call me Hamza. Hamza, Hamza. Okay, Hamza. How many men you need to support you if you have a fight with your wife? <clears throat> if you have a fight with your wife, I would say I believe it's four, right? You need four wives? Four no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying uh, uh, your wife's uh, cheating around. I'm saying you have a fight with your wife. How many men you need to support okay. you to win? Win with who? With your wife, you are fighting with your wife. Okay. Okay, how many men you need to, to help you to win the fight against a woman? Uh, how many women? Two women. I don't know. Two women. Do, two, let us say you have two wives. How many men, how many of okay. your friends will you will call to support you? Because obviously you are not the man of the house. You cannot even fight two women. How many men you need to ask them to come and support you? I've never heard of that before. I'm asking you, you know, tell me, do you, can you fight two women or you cannot? Fight them in what way? In whatever way. Let us say they are even arguing with you and you cannot even okay. refute them. What do you do? Do you call for help or you are going to, you are the, the, the lord of the house and you will deal with them? No, I just, I don't talk to them. Okay, but, but are you in control of the house or you will ask for somebody else's help? Me personally, I'm gonna I'm not gonna ask anybody for anything. Why? Because you are strong? No, because you know, women can be emotional and I don't need other people in my business. Okay. So you will not publish that in Facebook if you have a fight with your wives asking people to support you? No. No. Why? I, I Why? Personally Why? I personally wouldn't just because people are busy in other people's business. I don't I don't get involved in that. So is that just because they're busy or because they're afraid of from scandal? This is a scandal, you know, telling the, the laundry of your house, publishing it. Is no. It, no? No, no. I don't care about that. I, okay. No, no. Okay. So if you're a prophet, if, if, you're on, a prophet yeah. if you're a prophet is a strong, why he need the help of Allah to fight his two wives? Hmm. Hmm. And not only Allah, Jibreel, and not only Jibreel, Mikhail, and not only Mikhail, all the angels, and not only this, every single righteous Muslim joined the fight against two women, Hafsa and Aisha. What say you? Okay. What kind of man? He need all of those to fight two women. If you if you read this verse, you would what's, think this guy is going quote? is going to what's, fight Putin. What's, which chapter? Chapter sixty six, verse number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, let's get there. Hmm. Okay. It will be better if, if you 
if you wives both turn to Allah in repentance for your hearts have certainly faltered but if you continue to collaborate against him then know that Allah himself is, is his guardian and Gabriel the righteous believers and the angels are all his supporters all. Okay and? What and? What's I mean the guy he is asking what? everybody you said to me you do not need this is your business now he is asking Allah. Is he asking his Allah is enough to protect Muhammad. Is Allah enough to protect that's Muhammad? Not, that's, the, the, that's not what's going on here. This is what's they, going on. They, he says, if you don't repent, Allah is his protectors. His protector. You see the word protector? Yeah. Okay. Protector from what? What they would do to him yeah. exactly? <coughs> you want to call Shoot. a friend? Where are you seeing protector? No, I'm, I'm here. I just protector. Allah is protector, yeah. so obviously the wives of Muhammad they are beating the hell of him. No. So why? What do you mean the protector? Two wives in the house of Muhammad, and they are doing what exactly to the point he needed Allah? Is Allah is enough to protect Muhammad? No, he says in Jibreel. Is Allah and Where Jibreel are? The word protector. It's Where in the front of me. Protector. It says here in front of me. What's the Arabic word? You're, you're, oh, don't here. tell me Arabic. Why well, you don't speak Arabic? No, I do. don't. You don't know what I speak. No, you don't. You call Malda. me. A, you call me a thousand times before. You never spoke one Arabic word. You don't even know how to say your name correctly. Okay, your name is Hamza. What Hamza mean? <laughs> <laughs> you do not know the name of. You don't even know the meaning of your name. Your name mean lion. You are, know, a, I, I, you are a cat. Hamza mean a. Hamza mean a lion. You don't even know what your name means. What's I your name? name? What's your name, Hamza? Hmm. Okay. What yeah. Hamza mean? You do not know. Hamza mean a lion, but you're a cat. So now answer. Yeah. You're a prophet. He need the protection from Allah. What those women are doing and what kind of man he is? Uh, is Allah is enough to protect him? No. Read with me. Allah and Jibreel. Is Allah and Jibreel enough? No. He need to call more help. And every righteous Muslim, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Mimi, Hijab, Susu, Dudu, Fufu, you all have to come to the house of Muhammad to protect him from two women. For sure. I mean, they are strong. They have long nails and they have five did foot you, tall. Did you read, did you, did you read the, the, the verse before it? It doesn't matter. Remember when now he is in trouble. Why? doesn't matter. Okay, the, the verse before it is like a daddy nanny, grandma in the coffee shop. Look, explain to me what happened. When the Prophet disclosed a matter of confidence to one of his concert, and she mm -hmm. she then divulged to another, what the heck, is Allah talking? And then Allah made it known to him. Uh -huh. So he confirmed a part thereof, thereof and he repeated a part. Then when he told her what she told him, and she said to her what she said to him, she said, who told you this? This is Allah talking, this is God talking, this is the amazing Quran. If this is the amazing Quran, so what is my grandma, grand, grand, grandma is doing? Is it, this is what mm -hmm. gossip is about? Mm -hmm. What? God, he is saying this, when the prophet disclosed a matter of confidence, he said to one of his girlfriend, she told the other girlfriend, and the other girlfriend, she told her, where you did this, this, and he told her some of it, and then Allah told him part, and Allah did not tell him the other part. Look at the details. And then, brother, you know, and remember, you are the one who asked me to read the verse before it, not me. So you, you, ask, you ask for it, you get it. Sure. Then, then when he told her they are off, she said, who told you the, this? He he said, he told me the one is all knowing, the all knower. What the heck is that? And now, do you understand anything? Mm -hmm. What uh, do you understand after all this? You are the one who said to me, read the verse before. Do you understand what's going on? No. I, Until now, yeah, we do not know what's going, what's going on. on. No, you don't tell me what the story. I, I'm, I'm just letting you talk. Oh, uh, thank you. Tell me what happened. Are you searching Google? I'm clearing up my facts for sure. Yeah. yeah. What you're saying, what you're, what you're saying is for sure not all the way right. Yeah. And first off, you don't even have a point to what. what what's your point to this? What okay, my saying? friend. When you that, find that, when you find the point, let me know and call me. Okay. Until now, we did not get the point. Take care. What's your point? Huh? What's your point? What the heck? So after speaking to me for 15 minutes and repeating my, I losing my voice. You say to me, what's your point? What the heck? What a shish kebab religion.
what literally shish kebab religion. This is God. When God told so 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 told Mumu Mumu told Fifi, Fifi said to her, "What you told? What, who told you this?" And he told Allah told him some, and he did not tell him the rest. Look, why Allah he do that? Muhammad he heard what they are the ghosts. He claimed Allah told him. Here we go. He do not know all of it. He's trying to find out what they are do what they are doing. That's why he said Allah told me some, but he not tell me everything. So tell me, tell me what's going on. And those women they are getting so aggressive. You know, women they have long nails. You know, look at the neck of Muhammad. You will find a lot of scars. Especially when you don't do the laundry or wash dishes. Here you see with, you, with, with me how stupid this book is. And this is the book they say to you. It's made by God. This is God talking. This is, the, this is God who made this universe speaking here. And they say to you in Arabic, it's so powerful, man. If you read in Arabic, you will die laughing. وَإِذْ أَسَرَّ النَّبِيُّ إِلَى بَعْضِ أَزْوَاجِهِ حَدِيثًا فَلَمَّا نَبَّأَتْ بِهِ وَأَظَهَرَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ فَعَرِفَ بَعْضَهُ وَأَعْرَضَ عَنْ بَعْضَ What the heck? He عَرِفَ بَعْضَهُ وَأَعْرَضَ عَنْ بَعْضَ إيه البعض ده؟ إيه الأبعاد دي يا رجل؟ ثلاث الأبعاد من بعض بعض بعضه فكان بعض بعيدا بعيد ما أبعض بعضي بعد بعضي فإن الله بعيد بعاد بعيد فقد تبعد البعض من البعض وإن بعضنا فنحن بعضين وكان بعد البعض بعضا والبعض أولى بالمبعود مسلم do you understand what I'm saying I just made a chapter it's called بعضي just I made a chapter from this word بعضه what the heck is that Who speak Arabic here? Those who speak Arabic, they knew what kind of a disaster I just did. They will be flipping in their floor. What the heck is that? Ba'dahu. Ya ba'id anta ya ba'id. Ya ba'id iskut ya ba'id. But ba'id anta lehi. Danta ba'atina ya rajil. Hattu al-ba'id bil-ba'id wa kul ba'id. Wa khalas. Manta ba'atina ba'a. هو بعض مين؟ What the heck is that? And yeah, Hamza do not know what his name mean. What's your name, Hamza? Do you speak Arabic? Sure, sure. Okay, what's your name mean? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Huh? He's calling again. My friend, why are you calling again? That's that's my name, Hamza. You got it right. Okay, so. okay, okay. He just so guys, he he called me back to tell me that I got his name right. Just just. We want an adult Muslim to call us, not somebody is 40 years old. Adult, adult, please. Because Muslim, they, go, they don't get the age of maturity until they are in a very late age. As you remember, Muhammad himself, according to Muslim, he was a kid until the age of 40. And then Allah, he squeezed him and he started giving him revelation. And Muhammad, because he was a kid, he is not mature. The first revelation he received, he was doing poo poo. And then when he was receiving the pupu, and Allah spoke to him, the angel spoke to him, not Allah. A voice spoke to him. Muhammad, he started running in his pant between his legs. Immature behavior. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? The angel of God is speaking to him only when he want to do pupu. Each time the prophet, he go out. You see, in these days, you know, there's no bathroom, really. I mean, we are talking, the, you know, those Arab Bedouin. So they go in the desert, it's empty. In the dark, you go, and dump it, and come back. Muhammad, he go out to dump it. And then he hear a voice say to him, Oh, Muhammad. The second Muhammad, he hear the voice. Let us go to chapter number one. Give me a second. This is another chapter. 
The second he hear the voice, Muhammad he flee and he start running like a Tarzan in the jungle. Why Muhammad is running? And remember, those books are Muslim books. Those are written by Muslims, not by us. Whenever he went out, which means to do Pupu, Baraza, used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Is that an act of a mature person? Let us say I go out of the dark and somebody call me Christian. What I would do? I would run. I would say, who's this? Why is running? He's a kid. He's a kid. He's a coward. Why in the world he flee? Especially if this is not the first time the angel spoke to him. So the angel said to Muhammad, oh, Muhammad, he did not say, hey, he took money from me. Like, you know, Muhammad, maybe he borrowed money from the angel. Explain to me why he ran away. Maybe he borrowed money and he don't want to pay his debt. The angel is chasing him. Where is my money? But this is not the case. The poor angel, he wait for Muhammad and then Muhammad will do poo, poo Imagine how many hours. Muhammad now is coming out. Muhammad, he take his pant. He said, Muhammad, you know, in the moment he squeezed it, the prophet, he hear a voice. Oh, Muhammad. Muhammad, he hear the voice. The poo is coming from his ass. He start running. And then, what do you mean provide your link? Ask Allah to provide you. Allah is the provider of everything. Are you kidding me? Guys, this guy is a kafir. He just said to me, provide me a link. Don't you know that Allah is the provider of everything? Allah is knows best. He is the provider. Don't ask for things, you know, make plain for you. Chapter 5, verse 101. Verse 102 says, because many people before you, they left Islam because of those same questions. Like, don't ask those questions. So the prophet is mature for sure. Uh, yeah, he's just a kid. That's why I don't I don't judge him. I feel sorry for him. He's just a kid. No problem. That's why I don't want to waste my time. I want to speak to somebody who claim to have knowledge, not someone who have no idea. You see, if you make victory of someone, he is nobody. You made no victory. And this is why I believe that Allah is not God. As an example, Allah versus the lizard. Who? The lizard. Hold on. Did I hear you correctly? Yes. Allah, his enemy is a lizard. Yes, brother. What kind of God? His enemy is a lizard. And why? Why, brother? Why? What happened? What happened between Allah and Mr. Lizard? If there is any Muslim can help us. Is that the act of Shaitan, brother? Like Shaitan, he made enmity between them or misunderstanding, maybe? Lizard, he become the enemy of Allah? That's deep. Um Aisha says, can you please explain the hadith about why we should kill the house lizard. Please explain. First of all, the house lizard, I think they call it salamander or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. He is not sure. To be honest, this is a scholar. He is not sure. I mean, they are honest. We have to give them a credit. A scholar, he just said, I am not sure. That's real because he's humble, you know. They call him salamander. I don't know. In America, they call him Joe Biden. I'm not sure, really. I'm not sure. But you know the thing. Okay, what happened and what next? Um, the, the house lizard yeah? is no way. an insect. It's an insect. Stop. He do not know what they call it, salamander, maybe something, something, you know, but it's an insect. Now, this is this is what he is sure from. See, what, see, that, see, the, see the honesty? When he is not sure, he did not say, I'm sure. Mm. When he is sure, he told you what it is. It's an insect. Salamander is, uh, Abdul, 
Salamander eat insect. Not in, he is not an insect potato. I mean, what kind of? What, give me the name of the school you went to. Mm, potato school. I think they call it salamander. Or I think. I think. Like yeah. That. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, the, the house lizard is an insect. An insect that is harmful. <laughs> Some of it cause a lot of diseases. And brother, you just said some of it. What about the other some? Are they useful? <laughs> so why we not kill them all? Or kill the harmful one? But they do. Abdul, who is the one who will eat the mosquitoes if we kill all lizard? Are you stupid or what? Do you know what lizard they eat? They control bugs. Bugs can eat crops, they can eat your fruit, they can eat your tree, they can eat your tomato, they can destroy the, the, the food of a human being. We need those lizards. The enemy of Allah is a lizard. Go ahead. Some say that it intends to walk over the food and the, the drinks and to poo. Unbelievable, disgusting son of Mut'a lizard. He goes over your dish, he ends up and he's looking around like, did they see me? Did they see me? Nobody see me. And then you go and you eat the food like, mm, the ice cream was so good. Oh, because it's mixed with lizard piss. What the heck of this knowledge? Do you have any reference? Where it puts a lot of its illnesses and diseases in people's food. Brother, I heard that even lizard, they hold it until they go inside. They don't even do it outside. They hold it for you. Like he go outside, he eat insect, eat insect, eat insect, and now it's time to poo. Do he poo outside? No. He go look for your house, find a hole, something. He go to your dishes. And, uh, you know, <laughs> finally, today, they did not open the door for a long time. So it took me a lot of time to get in and do it. But finally, it's ready. See, this is my gift to you, Muslims. Salamander is poopon in your food. Conspiracy, even Salamander is their enemy. Continue, brother. So, in general, it is a dangerous, Very dangerous. creature that only brings harm to the people. I know, in I know. General. In general, yeah. And if you notice... No, I notice too, are you kidding me? Listen, do you notice? I mean, let us be honest here. Focus with words. Those are scars. They don't speak anything for nothing. Did, did you, if you notice, did you, for sure we notice. Are you kidding me? I noticed a lot of things about lizard. Do you see, guys, how knowledge is astonishing? If you noticed, are you kidding me? You are talking to Muslims. Muslims are the only one who notice those things, don't you know? In fact, some lizard, now they are signing contract with Hollywood. I saw one in a cartoon, he signed a contract, he make millions of dollars. Those enemies of Allah in Hollywood, they are trying to hire the enemy of Allah to make a movie about Islam. And look, he is so happy and excited. And he called himself the top G. That's why he has bodyguards. Because he's a lizard. Not brave. He's a coward. Hmm. Okay, what uh, if we notice, brother? I do not notice what you notice. Notice with me, please. Uh -huh. And if you notice uh -huh. that anything that is harmful, yeah. Islam tells us to kill. Like Christian Prince? So Islam tells us... <laughs> to kill a wild dog that bites and attacks people. Ah, Islam ordered you to kill all dogs, you coward, not a wild dog attacking people. You are a liar. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of diseases. Mafia. The plague is one the of mafia. them. I mean, don't don't you notice that mice, they go and grow? Don't you notice? Gang. They smuggle drugs through the borders human trafficking they lure women to do whip cameras i saw a mice she opened a car like a, a, a rat he opened a whip camera to lure beautiful honest and mice to open a camera and show their private part and these days a lot of rats are using bitcoins to pay for it 
But brother, this right, he is a Muslim. Therefore, it is okay. It's halal in the Quran to do business of a pimp. Smash Allah. Our most infamous four. And also, they cause fire, fire. in houses. <laughs> Somebody call the fire department and tell them who is the real reason for all the fires in the world. Hmm. As in the they smoke. You know what they do? You see those rats? They have like, they sit in the wood, in the park. They start smoking like, hey brother, what do you eat today? I ate today the cheese of the neighbors. They give me a cigarette, let's smoke. And then they start smoking. After they're smoking, they throw the cigarette. And then the fire catch. Marijuana, hashish, even they don't pay for it. They steal it from the neighbors. They go to the, your house. You have a cigarette in the table because you're a fool who smoke. And then they take it, or marijuana, etc. They take it to the backyard and they start smoking. And then hey, they make fire. And then when they finish, they, finish, they throw the marijuana in your yard. Hey, you're catching fire. Hmm. In, in the hadith of the Prophet, it tells us, mice do heinous things. Oh. Though people nowadays are so fond of them unbelievable we're told to kill the cross you know, nobody is safe from, from muhammad uh, i mean he is going after animals creatures birds lizard ins i mean psh, muhammad doing jihad this is jihad a crow that also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat you know what muslim don't eat that meat they eat chicken which alive the Muslim, he just shuffled a, a chicken in his mouth, a live. Hey, Abdul, do you eat dead fish or a live fish? Maybe you slaughter the fish, you know. When you take the fish from the water, how the fish die? You eat it. Mm -hmm. So he eat dead fish and he eat him. So, you know, he's, he, this is the reason to kill him? The chicken, they eat dead shit. They love it. They eat cockroaches, they eat, you know, what's wrong with you? Oh, bro. This is why we see Muslims, they have halal food, or not here in the in the video of um, uh, Lili Dawa. They have halal food for cats. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill because they have a genie inside them, according to Muhammad. Kill scorpions. Scorpions. These, by nature, are harmful mm. for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. Oh boy. And there is a hadith. Don't tell me. In Sahih al See, this is what the Muslims, they try to wash their hands from. What Muhammad said. Hadith means what Muhammad said. And now the Muslims, they will say to you, we don't agree with this. This is all... The Prophet, he never said that. But as you see in their TV, they are big shakes with big beard. You know, he have even Christmas light in it. I saw him in Christmas, he put Christmas light, LED. He's trying to, you know, the Muslim today, they are trying to abrogate the religion. They install LED in the mosque, chandelier. In the time of the Prophet, people used to go and dogs used to go inside the mosque and piss. And nobody clean after the dogs. And now they have marble, air conditioning. Eh, the oil money. Wait until the oil is gone. Is gone. Bukhari, where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people. Guys, take notes. His people throw him in the fire, and now the action will start. In the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard and he just said to us that all those animals we have to kill because they are bad suddenly those animals they join to save abraham i mean do you see how the iq of islam is so high he spent 15 minutes the first 15 minutes tell us those animals we have to kill and now he just said all the creatures they decide to save abraham except mr lizard I thought mice is bad, and a scorpion is bad, and crow is bad, and dogs are bad, and snakes are bad, and now all of them they join to save Abraham. Hey snake, where you going? Uh, so what? You want to go and save Abraham? 
Oh, guys, sorry, she didn't talk. You know, she is moving her tongue. I understand the language. Oh, okay. And what about the rat next to you? How come How come you and rat, and you know, I mean, you are enemies. You will eat the rat, right? I mean, how come it, the rat is accompanying you? Oh, you, you, you make a team, to a rescue team to save Abraham. Who's who's next to you? A snake? So this is a snake, a rat, a crow, uh, a dog. All of you will become a one team. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And even pigs, the pigs came too. I thought pigs are dirty. The pigs they came to to save Abraham. Everybody is coming to save Abraham. Except one filthy son of Muta creature. Blizzard. Nature are harmful for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. Disgusting. It used to try to blow I so can't. that the fire would grow. I can't believe it. And this shows you that our relationship, not only with people, with everything else, is dependent on our belief in Allah Azza wa Jal. Unbelievable. Somebody saying to me, I will not be your follower again, my friend. This is what you said to me last time. You keep coming. Mr. Lamp, I think you are not LED. Something wrong with you. You turn off, on, on, off. Who is this guy? Hello? 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 What if you don't talk? I will hang up on you. Okay. And I will block you. If there is any Muslim can tell us about the heaven of Allah. Any Muhammadan. Any brave Muhammadan. Forget about the lizard. I want to get the versions. Is it true that your God Allah he described for us the vagina of the virgins? Is it true that the virgin they wear seven dresses, 70 dress in the top of each other? 70? Why? And what the point? If it is see-through? Is it true that women in heaven, those women who Allah made for us, we can see the marrow of their bones. Don't you think this is so beautiful? How sexy. You know, it's hard to think about how wide the imagination of Muhammad. The Arab are very racist and they don't like women who have dark skin. So Muhammad decided to promise them women who they are so wide, extremely wide, to the point you can see through their skin. If you see someone so wide, you will see, you can see the vein under the skin. The person who have darker skin, you cannot see that. So Muhammad, because he knew what kind of people he has, he have to fabricate a lie claiming that Muslims themselves, they will be so white when they go to heaven, and the women who Allah will give to them, you will see through the marrow of their bones. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Muslims, what if a Muslim man, he like a dark-skinned woman?
Any Mohammedan? Why Allah, he will not provide us with women who don't have such a, I mean, what, what this is for exactly? Is that sex something really beautiful? Is that the standard of Allah beauty? That I will see women marrow, the bones? Have you ever seen X-ray? How beautiful is that? Isn't it tempting? You know, if you think about it, I think it's very tempting. Maybe you do not know what we are talking about yet. I will give you an idea. Imagine now you are in heaven and your beautiful wife, she starts making some kind of very sexy positions. Very sexy. Look at this one. Or this one. What do you feel? Can we describe how Allah, the way He look at the beauty is amazing? How Allah knew that men, they will go crazy when they see this? How He knew? First time I saw it, I don't want to be single no more. I want to go to heaven. I said to myself, no way. That's it. And look at the high heels. That's so beautiful. I see some shit there. No, this is not shit. This is not shit. This is the husband uh, green card. I mean, uh, it's a credit card. Yeah, no, no. This is not. Sorry, guys. I, I got. I thought this is shit. Something. No. This is a credit card. You know what women they hide, you know. Anyway, and look at this one. Oof. Look at this one. Women they do crazy stuff, man. So now you are in heaven, and she is trying her best to tempt you, showing you. All her temptation skills. Oof, look at this one. High heels, her ass is facing you, and you are staring. Allah is the best designer for beauty. And now the Muslim themselves, they will be see-through too. That's what the hadith is saying, not only the versions. So look at the love. Look what will happen exactly. Oof. Let us not to go down. Let us go up. Focus on the top, focus on the top. Brother, that's so beautiful. Who can think about such a beauty save Allah? Did the Hindu God say that? No. Even Sadhguru never imagined this. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him. He have the best heaven ever. Who is the winner for heaven this year? Prophet Muhammad. Who is the winner for heaven design last year? Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Who is the winner for the design of heaven the year before it and the year before it and the year before it? Prophet Muhammad. Who can beat that? Any Muslim have an objection for what we said? As you see, we are showing you what your Prophet said. You will see the marrow of their bones. And obviously, this is making them so beautiful. I know, I think this will be very attractive if we say that to a bunch of dogs. Dogs black bones. But why a man, he will be attracted to a woman, you can see the marrow of her bones. So we will not see the flesh? No. So what the benefit of the flesh? Nothing. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan want to join us? Anyone? Do you see why they don't want you to read the hadith? Do you see why they wash their hands from the stupidity of Muhammad? Obviously, those promises is just a stupid promises. 
Who in the world gonna believe in such a garbage? That Allah will make you so white to the point people they can see through your bones. And this is for the men and the women. Muslim Sheikh is what what about him, Mr. Knight? What about him? Muslim Muslim Sheikh, what is that? You keep saying to me, Muslim Sheikh, what about him? What I would do to him? Hmm? Muslim Sheikh. At least if you want to tell me something, make a sentence so I can read it. You are making Quran now. Muslim Sheikh name is. What is that? Do we have any Muhammadan? And please don't call me if you do not know what the meaning of your name. Any Abdul? I want to go to heaven. I want to get the versions. It's obviously that Allah, He loves to make us happy. And specifically, He want to make that peace between your legs happy. Ooh, that's nice. I mean, who can do that save a true God? You know, Muslims, why Allah, when He created Adam, did not create, to, uh, you know, Adam with uh, like a 70 Eve? Why only one Eve? Why only one Eve? And why He, she don't have a, a hold on? Do you know, first of all, that the first Eve, she never had a period? Do you know that? Who is a Muslim knows why the first Eve and women after her for some time they never have a period? Any Muslim knows? According to Muslims, women after Adam and Eve, their children, they don't have period. But then, those women, they made a mixed party, men and women. So Allah, He punished the women. And He cursed them. And He made women have period. And since then, women, they have period. Man. Must be a true story. Any Muhammadan? Why Allah did not make the men have period? I mean, they are mixing with the women too. Hmm. I mean, isn't it weird you punish the women? Make the men have period too. Like, isn't it the men are with them? Uh. Do we have any Muhammadan? Prophet Solomon, he have a flying carpet can fit 700,000 chairs. Well, depending on the story, some they say 600,000, some they say a million, some they say, you know, depend who is saying the story. It was the Sheikh name? What, what Sheikh? Lord have mercy. Who is a Muslim would like to join us? A Muslim who have education and he can tell us about the heaven of Allah. I like to join Allah heaven. Uh, Mr. Ahmad is calling. Let us see Ahmad. <laughs> we are calling Ahmad. Ahmad is not answering. Ahmad, why you are not answering, my friend? 
Let us see Ahmad. <coughs> Hello? Wa alayka salam. Arf, an hadrazak masri. أنا مصري. Uh, I speak. I speak. I speak in English. No, I speak. Uh, yeah, I'm speaking English. Good. Yeah. Okay, okay. I speak English. Huh. Uh, I will, if I proved one lie, you you are a liar. Okay. Okay, no Except problem. This? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. You said Arabs are racist because they don't like black women, right? Uh huh. The 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 origin of Arabs are black. Mm -hmm. Hajar. Hajar, uh -huh. Hajar was a black Egyptian who married Abraham, who, who, who gave birth to Ismail, who was the father of the Arab. <laughs> okay, I want to go with you. First of all, Hajar, the Coptic, are not totally black. They are darker skinned, but they aren't black. And we can show images, and people will see. They are African, yes, but they are mixed with the Roman. Because in case you do not know, that this nation is mixed with everybody even with the Jews. Secondly, do you have any proof that Muhammad and the Arab are from Hajar? Isn't it in your book it says that Ishmael himself, he learned Arabic from the Arab at the age of 11? English, English, please, English. Ishmael is known the father of the Arab. You have, to, you have to give me a proof of that. I can get you. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, I I don't know a, a proof of hadith, but, uh, but uh, another another thing that I will I will tell you that the the prophet married uh, um, a woman named Sauda, which was which was black. <laughs> Sauda doesn't mean that she is black, my friend. This is she's an Arab. She is not a black. Sauda is a name. Listen, no. And, listen, listen. Let let us go one by one. Let's go one by one. Uh, what the age Ishmael he learned Arabic according to your religion? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Huh? Give me a minute. I'm giving. I'll give you. A, I will give you a year. No problem. Uh, he uh, Ishmael grew up and married a Yemenian, uh, a, a Yemenian girl, and he. After that, learned Arabic, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, and and Abraham uh -huh. ordered him to leave the, the his wife. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, after that. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. Well. Listen. So you just said everybody heard you. That Ishmael he learned Arabic after he married from a woman. She is from Yemen, correct? Yeah. Okay. That means he is not the father of the Arab. That means people they speak Arabic already. So how so how he can be the father of the Arab? And if, if in this case, if I am a German and I marry a woman, she is a Chinese. According to Islam, the son will follow the father. So if the father is not an Arab, then Muhammad, if he is from Ishmael, should not be an Arab because. Ishmael himself obviously isn't an Arab because he learned Arabic. You just say that he himself learned Arabic from the Arab. The Arabs exist. And not only that, you're a prophet. He says that Ishmael, he learned Arabic at the age of 14. Is that correct? I don't know uh, about this. And I don't memorize numbers. I memorize. I, I memorize, my friend. I memorize. No problem. I will show you. I will give you a reference. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, it says in the Hadith, uh, that the first time, the first one who learned from, like, supposedly between you, is Ismail, and he was 14 years old. Do you agree with that or no? Well, again, because I was opening the YouTube. Huh? What? Can you can you repeat it? Because I opened the YouTube. Like, I was opening the YouTube. Band. Okay. According to your prophet, he was the first of the tribes to speak Arabic, you know, from his tribe, not from the Arab. And when Allah taught him Arabic, he forgot the language of his father. Is that correct? He forgot the language of his father. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
what is, what is his father's uh, nationality? Uh, Aramaic. No, he is not Aramaic. He, 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 so, he was. So what? He, what? He what was the language? I, I, of, what was I the language Iraq. of? What was the language of Abraham? He was born in Iraq. Okay, the people in Iraq at that time they are the Aramaic. They speak. Okay. They speak Aramaic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so now Bro, Ishmael, Ishmael, listen, Ishmael. I'm going to show you uh, a bunch of uh, reference, all right? And you can you can read yourself, and this is from your books. You will see that your prophet, and you are the one who agree, that your prophet, he made it clear that Ishmael never spoke Arabic. And then, according to the, the uh, your books, Ishmael, he married from uh, the tribe of Jerham. But Jerham are the enemy of the tribe of Quraysh. In fact, Quraysh kicked Jerham from Mecca. So how he is from, he is married to Jerham, and Muhammad is not from the tribe of Jerham, and then Muhammad is from Jerham. No, 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 Muhammad isn't, Muhammad is from Quraysh. Muhammad is from Quraysh, no problem. I'm saying, Ishmael, according to your books, he married from Jerham. No, where it says he was not, he married the... Let us show you. Here we go. I will show you some reference. Here we go. And you speak Arabic, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is your this is your book. It says here, we'll show in Arabic and then we will translate the website to English. It says here, قال رسول الله أول من فتق رسانه بالعربية المبينة إسماعيل وهو ابن أربعة عشر سنة. The first one who spoke the language it was Ishmael and he was 14 years old correct this is the book of Kenzul Ummal 11490 and Majma'ut Ismail and he repeating the same hadith do you see it now yeah. he married from the tribe of Jerham here we go what we know what we know etc. It says here, Do you see it? Okay. So he introduced to Jerham, which is an Arabian tribe, but this is the enemy tribe of Quraysh, and Jerham used to be in charge of Mecca. And then Quraysh where, kicked. Where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? Where is you know, this is from your history books. We can show you tons of reference, my friend. Well, you see, this is recorded because uh, you know if we say something, uh, you know people will laugh at us, right? If we say something not true, people will laugh at you and at me, right? People are watching, but this is your. So how how Ishmael? He is the father of the Arab, but he is learning Arabic from the Arab. That means Arabic has exist and the Arab exists before Ishmael. If I marry a Chinese woman, if I marry a Chinese woman, is the Chinese my kids? Uh, it's a Chinese, your kids? Yes, if I marry, if I go to China now and I marry a Chinese woman, can you say that the Chinese are the children of a Christian prince and he is an Arab? So they are Arab? Uh, no. Okay, but this is what happened. According to you, Ishmael, according to your books, not our books, according to your books, Ishmael, he married from Arabian women from the tribe of Jerham, not from the tribe of Quraysh. And those tribe, he, they are the one who taught him uh, Arabic. And as you see here says, and this is your book, and you are the one who asked me how you can prove that they speak Aramaic. Do you see what it says? وَأَوَى لِسَانًا عَرَبِي فَصِيحْ مُتَكَلِّمْ بِلِسَانْ هُوَ إِسْمَائِلْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Listen, okay, no, listen, listen. Yeah, but he, he learned Arabic from, you are the one who said to me, learn Arabic from you, no? And here it says that too. They are saying he is the first one who speak a perfect Arabic because Allah taught him. But the Arab are speaking Arabic already. And here they say that Ibrahim, uh, 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 the, the children of Ibrahim and Ibrahim and Ishaq, his brother, they used to speak Syriac language. Do you see it? As Syriania. Not Aramaic. Syriania is Aramaic, my friend. Syriac is Aramaic. I don't know. Yeah. So as you see, 
all this drama, it doesn't make sense. Secondly, you are the whole point supposedly to prove to me about the black and white. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Did your Quran say that Allah will make all non-Muslims, those who don't believe in Allah, black? No, he, he from the heat of Jahannam, uh -huh. uh, their, their face would be black. Okay, so are you saying to me that a person is color black because he is from the people of Jahannam? No, uh, no, no, it's not like this. Not like so this. what is this? What it is? Because the Quran says Allah will make all those who don't believe black and all those who believe white. And this is a chapter 3, verse 106. Exactly. Yeah. It means like it, it was white and then it went black. Okay, but okay, okay. So they were white. Allah will make them as a penalty black, correct? So being a black in Islam is a penalty, it's not a reward. The Muslims, all of them, Allah will make them white. Is that correct? He will make them very white. Allah will make the Muslims very white, not only white. And he will make those who they are not Muslims very black. Is that correct? It it is related to the 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 feelings. Imagine yourself; you will be judged by God, and you know you sinned all your life. How how will be your face? So my face will be black because I sinned all my life. Uh, it is like of the sins. Oh, so you are saying that I sin. If I sin, Allah will make uh, I will be black. So sin make people black. That's what you are saying. No, the sins is like marks, and it will make. Okay, so so people. sin sin make you black. Uh, exactly, that's what we are saying. But, Islam teach that you when you sin, Allah will make you black. Bro, you you put you put Jesus in your churches. Don't change a white man. Don't change. No, no. First, first of all, all of those you go you go to Africa. Jesus is a black. You go to Asia. Jesus is a Filipino. He is a Korean. You go to a white society. That's normal. But this is all not not from the Bible. People they make those are not even accepted from the Bible. The Bible says, make no images for what up in heaven or down on earth. This is the Bible. People they do sin. People they do wrong. I'm asking you now why. You, this is your God, not people doing that. Your God saying, He will make all those who believe in Him white. And you just said, Allah will make you black because you commit sin. See, on the day when some faces will be lit up with like the light. No, you will make it white. Don't, there's no light. There's no light. Don't don't add word. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. It says, not light up the translation you are not a translator a perfect translator this is a false translation that's why they put it between two bracket this is why between two bracket yeah. it's it's false and you speak arabic so it will be white between two bracket it's false it's not there we go by what's there and then he says here again but those who their faces will be white they will be uh, with Allah mercy there's no light of the word of Allah see they are adding if you if you change the translator this is Yusuf Ali if you change the translator you will see the translation totally change because Muslim they corrupt their Quran they, they aren't they don't have an honest translation never I, I saw a Muslim have an honest translation look where is where is the, the they will be light no light it's white bro, bro I, I ask you something hmm. if you like a forger and you forge and your hand went black will you go to clean it right so you are saying to me if you if you are committing sin a forgery your hand will be black don't play with don't play with with words i say if you cleaned your hand from black substance or black substance, yeah but you see if i am no you say racist no. hold on so Allah now he is rewarding the ones who they are believers by being white and he is punishing he's not making why he is why even who care for the color why he care for the color why what a big deal why Allah don't take them uh, the black the white the, the Indian everybody no problem he's a Muslim take him to heaven why he will make all Muslim white and all non-Muslim black like uh, uh, it is it is in the afterlife 
the afterlife has no 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 okay oh, okay hold on let us say i will go with you after light before light who care if life it doesn't matter still allah will make the believers white and non-believers black life now okay. life after no. and not only that isn't it your prophet he said that when allah created adam he created the the, the white uh 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 uh, the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he created the black people from the left shoulder of uh, uh, Adam and then he said to the one created from the white uh, from the light, uh, right shoulder you go to heaven which means the white and he said to those who they are created from the left shoulder which means the black you go to hell and I don't care no, this is not right. what if I show you the hadith what if I show you the hadith the hadith I know is there is no difference between a black and white except for that is a that is a fake hadith. Thing. That is a fake hadith. No, no, no. I, it's a thing. A thing is sahih. Okay, which book? Which book? This book we can find it. I will get it for you. Hmm. I'm waiting for you. Downloading. Hmm? The entrance is uh, there is no superiority for an Arab over an non Arab. No yeah, we, we, an Arab we heard this before. Arab. We heard it before. Yeah, but this is fabrication. Yeah, fabrication. No, I can't. Okay, you see, oh, hold on, hold on. It is, is, you are the one who said to me when you call me. You said to me, Muhammad is from Ishmael. Yeah, he is. Is that because you believe that there is people who they are superior to people, or you because it doesn't matter? No, like I, I don't get you. Sorry. Okay, when you Muslims you mentioned that Muhammad is from Ishmael, is that because Ishmael family are superior above mankind? Or be or because they are equal to all mankind and doesn't matter. No, they 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 are, they, they are equal, but they, they are higher from each other by good deeds. And a sinful man is not like a good man. Uh, this is not the, what I'm asking. Because a sinful man not equal to etc. But that will be uh, like in the day of judgment. We are talking about when you are created according to Islam. If there is people Allah he wanted them favor them upon all mankind he decided even before he made them that they are favored upon all mankind yes or no uh, do you mean the ch children of Israel doesn't matter I'm asking you why you are afraid to answer either you say to me yes there is people that uh, 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 Allah consider them superior or you say there's all people are equal it is the same in the Bible, the kingdom of God. Okay, no problem. I'm asking you about you. I will answer about my Bible yeah. now. I will answer yeah, about my Bible. The children of Israel was the, the God made them. Oh, okay, no. Uh, first of uh, all, no, than, no, 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 no. In the Bible, God did not make them higher. In the Bible, is those who chosen God, God with them. You will see that God of the Bible, He punished them when they are not with Him. When they are following idols, worshiping God Himself, He punished them. So God did not favor them. Now listen, when you favor God, God favor you. But in Islam, no. In Islam, you believe in destiny. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So when Allah created Adam and he created his children, did he make a destiny that the black ones will go to hell and the white ones will go to heaven? Huh? Yeah. No, the companion of the Prophet Bilal uh, uh, he was from the person, uh, to, from the people that the Prophet said to him, uh, to him that he will enter Jannah. He will enter Jannah. He is fooling him. Isn't it your Prophet? He made fun of the look of Bilal. He says, Rasahu Rasu Zabiba. 
He have he said he said you obey your master, your chief. He hired him to be a chief because he's a strong black man. And then he made fun of his look. He says his head is a raisin head. Is that true? No. Okay. No, no, no. Get get me get me your hadith. All right. Here we go. Okay. No, no problem. Here we go. We will go to the hadith. You can see my screen. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let us see the hadith about Bilal. Here we go. Do you see it? Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he, he made fun of your of the Ethiopian, and he said, uh, <clears throat> the, you know, he hired him, but he never freed him. Still, he's a slave. This is number one. Muhammad, he owned Bilal. Abu Bakr bought Bilal. And Muhammad never released him. This is why after he died, Bilal was crying, you know, he said to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, if uh, you know, then release me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. And we can show you the hadith. The Prophet said, listen and obey. You're a chief. He's not a free man, but he made him a chief because he is good in war. He gave him a group of uh, 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 Muslims. You are in charge of them. Those Arabs, they say, we will not let a black man to lead us. Muhammad, instead of saying, so what if he's a black man? He's making fun of his look, he says. Obey him even if he is an Ethiopian who his head is like a raisin where made your chief. Do you see it? It was not to Bilal. It was not to Bilal. It was not? It was not to Bilal. Where is it to Bilal? Uh, it's about Bilal. It's about Bilal. You, and and, and, and it doesn't, doesn't matter really if it's Bilal or not. You know, it doesn't matter. So are you saying to me that your prophet will say that about different slave, but he will not say that about uh, uh, Bilal? He said, listen and obey your chief, even if an Ethiopian whose head is like a raisin or made. Yeah, so how your prophet see the black. Chief. Yeah, obey him. He made him a chief because now he is needing for war. He is a slave himself. He is not a chief, really. This is why those Arabs, they said, we will not allow a black slave to control us. Muhammad, he said, listen, even if he is a raisin head and he is an Ethiopian, obey him for now. Right? And why he's making fun of his face? Why he's making fun of his look? He can say, obey your chief, even if he's a Hubian, and that's it. Why he is mentioning that the look of his head, why he's making fun of his head. Bro, bro uh, where, where the intention of fun? I don't get it. The intention is very clear. You, you're a prophet I... making fun. Okay, is, it, is shaitan, is shaitan in Islam, is an Ethiopian, and he is a black man. Shaitan black? Yeah. No. The the uh, the jinn was made of smokeless fire. There's nothing about the 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 characteristic of the shaitan. So I'm asking a very specific question. Is the one who will destroy the Kaaba is Ethiopian and he is a black? No, no, no. This is Ibrah al Habashi and he tried to destroy the the Kaaba but God made him feel. It is Ibrah al Habashi. No, no, no. This, is a, this is a fiction story. I'm talking about something else. A person. It's not fiction. My friend. It, it, it was, we can go there later. Said, but, we can go there. But I'm asking you different story, different story. Is it true that your prophet, he said, that a person who have funny legs because he's a black, he is the one who will do destroy the Kaaba? No. Shall we show the hadith? Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. We go in the hadith. Read it for me. You said to me, no, remember? Yeah. Okay. Do you see it? It is not loaded yet. Yeah, it's good. The, the messenger, Allah, peace be upon him, hear and obey, even if and... No, no, different one. This is a different one. I'll show you a different one. Listen and obey, even... No. My friend, this is a different one. It says in Arabic, okay. 
يخرب الكعبة ذو سوي سو... يا جاي أبسينيان أبسينيان ما هافين تو سمول شانك يا so he is what he is making fun of his legs he is Abyssinian he is an Ethiopian he is an enemy I don't know it doesn't matter he is a black man he is a black man okay who is the uh, uh, who is the one uh, Allah hate most who is the one Allah hate most yeah is it a black man is it a black man no, he didn't say the black man. Didn't say the black man. All right. So let us see. If this is true or not. You know, you notice everything you say to me, I show you the hadith. And then, you you know, like it turned to be that I'm right and you are wrong. Right? Each time you say something what? to me, each time you say, I, each time I say to you something, you say no, and it turned to be true. Why no, is that? It is, I, 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 I am. I don't memorize the hadith. I memorize the Quran. Okay, but you are the Muslim who called me to prove me uh, as a liar. Okay, okay, I, I, I can prove you in something. I, I surely know that. Let us, that, uh, let us finish. No let us, let us finish. Uh, let us finish, uh, one by one. Uh, let us see here. Like here, as you see, even your prophet, even he discriminated animals just because of they're black. Like a black dog is a devil. Is that correct? Uh, it is the hadith that says the prayer is served by a woman. Yeah, it says uh, they ask him why the black dog. What's specific about the black dog? He says the black dog is a devil. Is that correct? The prayer is served by a woman, a donkey, and the black dog. If there is not something like the handle of saddle. Can you get the Arabic one? The Arabic, it says here. Uh, Can you get the Arabic one? Hold on, give me a second. Oh, this one here. It says here, you can read in Arabic, no problem. It is Daif. Daif, yeah. Yeah, so? Not ethnic. Huh? It is not ethnic. So, lied, so, uh, so are you uh, saying to me, you Muslims, you lie about what your prophet say? No, 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 no. Uh, so what, the, what do you mean? The, 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 there was like, we have so, sources that you don't have. We say, I can say five persons to the Hadith. To the one who narrated the hadith, uh, that one like that that they they were like many people who purified it. Like if um you for example for example uh -huh. you narrated a hadith about the prophet. Okay. And I asked the person who hear, heard it. Hmm. Uh, did you listen to um, uh, for example Christian Prince did hmm. the hadith? Hmm. He says yes. I I go to Christian Prince. He is dead. How do you how do you uh, how do you say the hadith when it when he is dead? Hmm. But so, isn't it all the hadith you collect them more than two hundred no, years no, after Muhammad? No, first of, all, first of all, first of all, first of all, this is not daif. This is sahih. But I wanted to show people how Muslims they try to find a solution to run away. They change their answer depend in what proof we give, not their their faith and what they believe. No, 
uh, they find an excuse to escape. Suddenly, you just start giving me a story about what is da'if and what's sahih. But shouldn't all the Muslim books be having only true stories about their prophet? Why Muslim will lie about their prophet? Why Muslim they say to us that we are Muslims who lie about what Muhammad did and what Muhammad said. And now we, we print it in a book, we translate it, we publish it. The second you show it to me, I say to you, I don't accept it. So why is this a drama? That means Muslim's sources cannot be trustworthy, number one. Number two, when a Muslim he say this is Sahih, it's just a fabrication too. Why? Because you said to me somebody is dead. How we can be find out? Well, those hadith are collected by people who exist hundreds of years after Muhammad. They never saw Muhammad. They never met Muhammad. They never saw the companion of Muhammad. So how we can be sure that what it said been said? All is this is a fabrication, the same as the Quran. If I ask you, if, if I, listen, listen. Let us let us make it simple. Let us go back to the Quran. That will be better. Uh, I I want to argue with in the day in the day, in the day, of, in the day of judgment in the day of judgment. How people will become white and black? Is that like Allah will command? the bad one to become black and the good one to be white or he will use somebody no it is not mentioned he, he, he bro if he, if you are sad or like shocked of something your face we say your face turns dull same black because you are depressed is this racist no it's not racist it's the, 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 the human uh, uh, nature Mm. It, 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 if you if you are depressed or something, your uh, your face turns black. But imagine of you, the end of your life will be a hell. Okay, but this is not an answer. I'm asking you. And yeah. when Allah, He will make people black and white in the day of judgment. The bad ones, He will make them black. The good ones, Allah will make them white. Is that by Allah saying you be black and you be white, or Allah will send somebody? No, it is their nature. What do you mean? Like the the, the, the people who sin know they sin, so they they will be very scared and and sad that their face will turn the dull or like. Yes. So you are saying so you are saying this will happen automatically. Yeah. Okay, uh, we will go to that. When Allah created them in the beginning, black and white, how Allah created somebody black and how He created him white. And then we will go back to heaven to understand. I don't know, honestly. Okay. So what do you know? Uh, I, I I do uh, uh, the the hadith that I told you. Uh, the, there is no different between an Arab. Well, we are reading Quran now, and we are in, we, we will read Sahih hadith too. As an example here, this is your prophet hadith, it says. You can see it with me in the screen. And this is a very authentic hadith. It says, When Allah created Adam, when he created him, he struck his right shoulder and he brought forth his offspring white like small ants. And then he struck his left shoulder and he brought forth offspring uh, 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 black like shirkul. Then he said to the party from his right side, which means the white ones, you go to paradise and I don't care. And he said to the one who they are brought from the left shoulder, you go to hell and I don't care, which means the black. This is your prophet statement. Wait, wait a minute, I check it. I check it here. Uh -huh. He produced uh, the, uh, the the black people yeah. like they would uh, uh, mag. Yeah. Uh, if this if this hadith meant to to the the black skin mm -hmm. it says yeah it no. says he made them black like a black circle he made white he made the black those are human those are not uh, chicken those are human those are children of adam so from the right shoulder right in islam the right hand of islam it's mean the good hand 
left hand in Islam it means the bad hand so according to your religion according to your religion black people are created from the bad shoulder white people created from the good shoulder uh, see the 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 characteristic uh, characteristic of blackness or this uh, this like Mm -hmm. they, it doesn't mean their skin color. My friend, it says it clearly. They are black and they are white. And you are saying to me, so okay, what is the black about them? Why it's mentioned that the Riyatan Bayda of spring. Oh, he hang up. Mr. Ahmad, he hang up. Let us call him again. I think he decided to flee. Do you think he will answer? Let us mute the speaker and then answer. I don't think he will answer. Yeah, it's time to fly. He's not answering. All right, no problem. What we can do? So as you see, this is what Islam is about. Racism, hatred, and discrimination. Why does God wanna make such a statement? He created the black from the left shoulder and the white from the right shoulder. And those are their books. And those are authentic hadith. All of this, what we see here, is authentic hadith. Those are the reference. Can the Muslim deny? This is the book of Musnad al Imam Ahmad. We can find the same from at Turmudi, etc. Then it says, very number six, page number 441 Allah created the black from the left shoulder. And he created, you know, uh, uh, actually this one is different hadith, let me see. But, and you know, anyway, like he created the black from the left shoulder. This Maybe you need to scroll down to see the other one. Where is the other one? Yeah, anyway, that one we showed him is enough. But as you see, this is cannot be, you know, the Muslim, they try to fool black people. They say to them, Islam for everybody. In fact, Islam is an extremely racist cult made for the Arab, the white Arab only. When this guy, he tried to say to us that, you know, Ishmael, he married, uh, uh, you know, a woman, she is a black. First of all, I believe that Egyptian are not black. Egyptian are mixed, you know, color. They are not really black. Black is, uh, is, is something different. Uh, However, we have the Bible. The Bible make it clear that Ishmael, he married an Egyptian woman. And he lived far away from Mecca. His Egyptian mother married Egyptian children. So now the kids, they will be Arab. That is impossible. Same time, Muslim, they have no proof. Actually, Muhammad do not even know the names of the children of Ishmael if you go and check the names Muhammad he mentioned about uh, the children of uh, 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 Ishmael you will find names nobody can find them anywhere all the names Muhammad he come with they are fabrication as an example Ramses the second let us see this guy hello hello Why are people call if they want to talk? Oh boy. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us live on air?
Anyone? Who want to give it a try? Anybody? Everything about Muhammad showing us that Islam is very racist. The women in heaven, they will be very white. The men in the heaven, they will be very white. And not only that, Allah will give them a drink. And that drink will make them even whiter. I suspect that the drink will make them whiter, I think is going to make them uh, have a diarrhea. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Let me give you the link here. And you can use Google Translation when you open it. Use Google Translation because if you don't use Google Translation, you cannot translate. <clears throat> Let us use this. Translate. Musnad Ahmed. Variant number six, hadith number four, four one. And you know the bad thing about this website, uh, like the page keep jumping. All right, but as you see, it says they are the same as we show them. And the funny is, he is trying to deny that this is about black and white. But it's obvious his offspring they are black like sugar. White offspring, they are white like white ants. He even described them how they look like based on object. The black like charcoal, and you need to notice here why he mentioned charcoal. Something is going to be burned. Something is going to be in hellfire. So, my reward in heaven, I will be white. Women, they will be given to me in heaven, they will be white. Boys who will serve me in heaven, they are going to be white too. This is a white, white heaven. Only white is allowed. How the boys in heaven look like? The boys. They are white like pearls. Why Allah stuck with the color? Because simply, black is not allowed in his heaven. All right? All those prove to us that Muhammad and his religion is racist. So this heaven have zero black, zero Asian, zero from any color except very extreme white. The one is rewarded are white. The one is serving is white. The one who is for sex are white. The women created for men are white. The angel of Allah are white. Allah himself is white. And then they say to you that Islam is not uh, a racist. The funny is he called me to get me busted, right? But I have to say you got me busted, my friend. All right. Anyone will send me a link, I'm going to block you. I don't open links in Skype. I don't open files, I don't open pictures. So don't waste your time and cause yourself to be blocked. Do we have any Muhammadan? And not only that, actually, even in chapter 27, verse number 82, it says, Allah, if you go and read the interpretation according to Muhammad, Allah will send a beast, it's called a, a, a Jassasa. The Muslims, they have different name for it, they went in the story. And that beast is going to have a very weird look, is going to have the staff of Moses, the ring of Solomon, and is going to hit 
the believer in his face and will make him white and disbelievers in his face will make him black am I making things up let us see the difference only black in hell only white in heaven according to Muhammad not my story I don't believe in such a garbage I believe that black or Asian or white doesn't make you better than anyone all of us we are children of God for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to save us all in fact Christianity rich first and from the beginning the early early churches went all the way to Africa before even European they knew about Jesus like the Ethiopian churches even there is a very from the time of the disciple of Jesus church in, in India so if Christianity is based on color they will not go there here you will see in front of you the story and this is story telling us exactly what will happen supposedly in the day of judgment Allah will send the beast this beast have a very weird look and this beast have staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon because those are magical supposedly Harry Potter and will hit the believer in his face not a single believer will lift without making a white spot in his face which will spread until his face is shining white as a result and there will be no disbeliever left without making it a black spot in his face which will spread until his face is a black as a result I mean can we make it more clear than this you can open any website Ibn Kathir chapter 27 verse number 82 it's in the front of you and this beast have a very weird description as you see its head like the head of a bull its eyes like the eyes of a pig its ears like the ears of an elephant and Muhammad Allah he made a cocktail Who is the one who will send this beast? Allah. But this is against what the Bible teaches. The beast is not from God. Beasts are from Allah in heaven in, in, in the, by the command of Allah. Uh, somebody says, Egyptians are not black. They are mixed. Yeah, they are mixed. For sure they are mixed. Because... You know they've been occupied by many other nations for a long time and you know they are in the Mediterranean my friend in fact if you go right now to register yourself in the government of USA like they ask you about your race if you are from Morocco Tunisia Libya Egypt uh, uh, Israel uh, uh, Syria to all those they uh, they are considered uh, uh, white you don't put black go check it out those are Mediterranean. You will notice that the black ones is when you go to Sudan. This is not Egypt. This is never was part of Egypt. When you go deep in Africa, this is where you see the black people. The more you get to the sea, the more they are mixed. Even there is some, they are blonde. Why there is blonde in Egypt? Because simply they are mixed with the Roman. As an example, Mary the Copt. Mary the Copt. This is 1400 years ago. The wife, sorry, not the wife, the slave of Muhammad. She was blonde. I can show you the reference. So how she is an Coptic Egyptian, yet she is blonde. If you don't believe me, call me. I will show you the reference. She is blonde not white only blonde it will take me two seconds to show you the reference just call me be brave and her name is Mary the Copt this is why you know she was sent 
to Muhammad because the one who sent her, he knew that those Arab, they like white women. You don't send a black woman for sex. You send a white woman. The wife of Muhammad, Zainab bint Jahsh, which was the wife of his son. What was her color? The hadith described that she was Baydaun Jasima. She was big and very white. Big and very white. And if you don't agree, eh, get me busted. Call me. And you notice that our friend here, the second he noticed that things is not going in his direction, he hang up. Even though I see him, he's online. He's online. Let us call him again. You see here what I sir. <clears throat> the Muhammadan, they will swarm, they will swarm on your channel only if you do not know. The second they notice that they are losing the ground, overwhelming evidence, they retreat. They retreat. And the lie about Muhammad, he is from Ishmael, is a lie repeated by the Christian, by the way. You go to many churches, you will find an idiot priest saying to you that Ishmael is from the Arab. You ask him, but nobody asked him, where you get this from? Christian, don't ask questions. They are the same as the Muslims. They give the microphone to a mule. They put him on the stage. And this mule, he starts calling them. Shouldn't you ask him where he got this from? Where he got this from, that Ishmael is from, or he is the father of the Arab? Where? The Arab is not even an ethnic. The word Arabia is an Aramaic word, mean desert. Whoever live in the desert, they call him Arab. But they are not an ethnic. Anyone. Which means if I am an Aramaic, exists now, or in the time of Jesus, or before that, and you live in Las Vegas, I will call you an Arab because you live in the desert. Arab and Arabic are not even exist. Even Arabic language is not a language by itself. It took a lot of time to become, let us say, a language, but it is nothing but a collection of languages. Specifically, most of it is coming from the Aramaic. Do we have any Muhammadan? Islam is very stupid, and the promise of Allah is proving Islam to be stupid. What kind of God he promised me that if I believe in him, if I convert to Allah, he will give me a bracelet. He will give me a pillow. I will be recli reclining on the, air, on, the, on, the, on the pillow. What is that? I will be, I will be wearing a bracelet made of gold, in different verse, he says silver, the bent. I will be wearing a t-shirt, it's a green, a uniform. All Muslims will wear a uniform, which is a green, which is really weird and make me sick. Because isn't it enough all the trees around me is a green? I will be green too, like a lizard. And then you will be wearing a bracelet from gold and you will be reclining on a pillow, sitting on a bed. This is heaven of God. What is this? Pillow? Bed? Bracelet? Made of gold. And then there's thousands of little boys who they are like pearls, they are very white, serving me. Boys in my house serving me? That is disgusting.
This is a promise of God. What about you promise me a uh, big TV screen, endless uh, movies? Uh, I mean, this is boring heaven, man. What is this? As long you uh, as long you focus in material stuff, as long the focus is not in spirituality, it's in my belly, my stomach, my private part. Okay, make me happy. Here we go. And all, all day long, just eating and effing. That's it. No movies. No sport. This is like a Macy's Day or a football game, like, you know, two teams. Something exciting. Can we watch Star Wars movie? It is a cartoon. Are we going to have Mickey Mouse? Or because the Mickey Mouse is the enemy of Allah? What? This is heaven? This heaven is not even good for kids. And the funny is, here he promised them, promised them a green garment made in Iran. But Iran at that time was, actually until now they are kuffar because those are Shia, Sundos. It's like saying Gucci. You know Gucci? Sundos is a name of a brand of a silk famous in Iran, Persia. Muhammad, he is tempting them. Listen, listen, you want to wear Gucci? In the heaven of Allah, you will wear Gucci. The Arab boy, oh man, Gucci, are you serious? Prophet, are you serious? It's like saying to you now, if you believe in me, I will give you Nike, but in heaven. In heaven, the talk is cheap, you know? Hey, who want to believe in me? When you die, after you die in heaven, I will give you big screen TV, unlimited kimchi, unlimited balut if you are a Filipino, unlimited hummus if you are Arabian, unlimited kurshi if you are an Egyptian, turshi. I mean, what the heck is that? And not only that, according to Muhammad, each one of us will have two heavens. How I can live in two heavens in the same time? Two heavens? What, I will put one leg here and one leg there? And then my wives will be living between my legs, enjoying the scenery? Do we have any Muhammadan want to tell us about his heaven? What is this? You know, okay, pomegranate. Allah, he promised me pomegranate. Hmm? A banana. Hmm? Who don't want to eat pomegranate in heaven and banana? Let's read together. I mean, look at the promise. I mean, what? Yeah. Let us see. الرمان وما أدراك ما الرمان You will notice right away that the one who made this Quran is just an idiot. Somebody was hungry when he wrote it. Look at this. And you know, it's, you can tell even the verses are repeated. They are not really... All right. Uh, in chapter 6 verse 141 it says and it's he who produced gardens trellis and entrellis what the heck does that mean and date palms and crops a different shape and taste its fruit and olives and pomegranate 
similar in kind and unsimilar in kind. What the heck is that? Allah will give you two, like not one kind of pomegranate. There is Persian, there is a, 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 a African pomegranate, there is Egyptian pomegranate. They will have different uh, style, brother, different, okay. But at the end, they are pomegranate. And then eat from it. Okay, so this is heaven now. According to the Quran, when Allah He created animals, He created only eight pairs of animals. Only. What are they? If you read, you will die laughing. If you read, you will see how stupid the one who wrote the Quran. Because eight pairs is 16, not eight animals. If you read, the Muslim will try to fix it. Two camels. This is one pair. Two cows. Where is the rest? Muslims. What is this? If you go be before, here we see eight pairs. Two sheep, this is one pair. Two goat, the second pair. Okay? And then two camels and two cows. What is the eight pairs? And this is what Allah created? So Allah did not create the pigs? And all the rest of the animals? Where is the chicken? What about the rabbit, elephants, ostrich? I mean, there's endless numbers of uh, animals are not mentioned. But even the number is stupid. Eight pairs is 16. The second you say eight pairs, it means 16. When we say one pair, we're talking about what? Two. One pair is two. Eight pair is 16. If you count with me, how many now we have? We have eight. We have two sheep. We have two goats. We have two cow and two camel. Where is the 16 pairs? 16 uh, uh, individual animal, which is eight pairs. Do we have any Mohammedan? All right, like look, today we are out of customers. Sadly, this Egyptian, he decided to retreat and he took a hike. I'm going to close my Skype now and I'm going to say to you, I hope you have a good time today. Don't forget to watch the videos I'm making. I'm making like some short videos. Uh, even they take longer time, but I think they can serve the purpose too because my videos usually they are very long and I think the short videos can help in different way you know those who don't have too much time to watch they can still enjoy watching the short videos so don't forget to watch them and share them with your friends and feel free for sure to download them all my videos are for free and uh, we hope that people are learning Islam will look good by the images you know as long as you don't live it as long as you don't practice it as long as you don't live the real Islam. Like you will see someone, she is an American blonde. She put hijab, she have 10 kilograms of makeup in her face, and she make a video, Alhamdulillah, yesterday I converted to Islam, but you don't know about Islam. Don't you know that in Islam you cannot even do that? Don't you know in Islam you cannot even take hair from your face? Don't you know in Islam you cannot even go in public? Alhamdulillah, yesterday I converted to Islam. So they want to make videos, they want to make money. It's a business. Either you follow Islam, you wear burqa, you cover your face, you don't put makeup, you don't even take hair from your face. Muhammad, he made it so clear that a woman, she take hair from her face, Allah will curse her and the angels.
it's not me who is saying that. This is what Muhammad said. Find me one Muslim woman she have mustache in her face. Find me one Muslim woman she don't take hair from her eyebrows. Just find me women she don't do that. And obviously Muhammad is a weird man. He like women to have hair in their faces and he allow men to take hair from their faces. It's the opposite. If a man take hair from his faces, he is fine. If a woman she take hair from her faces, Allah curse her. She will go to hell. Chapter Probation of Wearing False Hair, Tattooing and failing, uh, failing the, the, of teeth. And not only that, taking hair from your face. All right? Read it. Allah cursed those women who got their hair removed from their eyebrows. Okay, why Muslims Allah will be upset if a woman she take hair from her eyebrows? What is business? The Muslim, the Muhammadan, the smart one, the educated one, they will say to you, because you are changing the way Allah made you. So why you do circumcise then? As long as it's forbidden for you to change the way Allah made you, why you do circumcision and why Muhammad can take hair from his body and why Muhammad he shave his mustache and why Muhammad can color his hair. If Allah made you have a black hair, why you want to be blonde? Did you ask yourself why Muslims? You see many Muslims around the world, including black, African, or even Asian. They have a blonde hair, which look weird and disgusting. Why? Why Muhammad wanted to have a blonde hair, redhead? What's wrong with the black? You will find the more the Muslim is religious, the more he color his, you know, his his uh, 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 his beard uh, red and red like fire. Not only red. I mean, and it looks scary and looks stupid too. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? What the heck is this? Where well, they are following the step of the Prophet, and now supposedly he is following Allah. And he is going to go to heaven because now he have a red beard. How beautiful is that? It's not even red. I mean, this is like weird. How awkward. And this is how Muhammad beard used to look like. It doesn't even even doesn't fit. It doesn't matter what your face color doesn't fit. This is stupid. What is this? Are you in fire? Look at them. I mean, it, it can things go more stupid than this? Bangladesh, Indian, Pakistani, African, everybody wanna have a red beard. Why? Because the the weirdo prophet, he used to do so. So why the women she cannot take hair from her face? I I thought you cannot change the way Allah made you. So you men you can color yourself with all kind of colors and you can clean your mustache and you can do take hair from your face, but a woman she cannot take hair from her face. And if you are a truly, truly a servant of Allah, your beard will be on fire. Look at this. This is a holy beard. Isn't it? Who can, who can deny that this is holy? Who of you deny that this is how the, the heavenly beard is? So beautiful. I know. I think I think this is the best look beard ever you can imagine in the world. 
the beard of a prophet Muhammad. Now, all of you, you never saw Muhammad, how he looked like, but now you get an idea. Did you? Look at this guy. Oh, this guy is the best. Oh boy. This guy, he worked maybe 10 hours to make it like this. What a match, man. Your wife, when she have sex with him, she will say, honey, I love your beard. What the heck is that, man? So good. You look so good. You s and he will say to her, I'm sexy and you know it. Isn't it? This is so beautiful. Just think about it. Why the Messiah did not order to have such a beard? What's wrong? I want to have a beard like this. Look at this guy. Brother, your beard is the ticket to heaven. He want to be blondie. Muhammad want to be blondie. Look at this terrorist from ISIS. Oof. This guy is, 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 I don't know what is that color. Don't ask me. I have no idea what is the color there. What the heck is this? Hmm. And they dress like Arab. Here we go. An African guy, he dressed like Arab. That's it. He's not African no more. He changed his beard, he chopped his penis, and he speak now, he say Arabic words, even though he do not know Arabic, he forgot his or in the origin, he forgot his ethnic, and now he is the slave of the Arab. Guys, what do you think? If I color my beard like this, and I go to Walmart, uh, So beautiful. And you know, you will notice that the hair could attach to his uh, face, the one close to his face, the color is changing. Because now when he when he color it, like a few days ago, the hair is growing. And it's going to look more ugly and more ugly and more ugly. And then he have to color it again. And what the, what for? Why I need to do this to make Allah happy? Why Muhammad is even doing that? Any Muslim can tell us? Maybe we should make a, just a special uh, investigation about this. A red beard. Maybe I should make a video called Why Muslims Has Red Beard. The secret behind the, why Walmart? Because everything there is weird. So I will, I will feel good because you go to Walmart, everything look around you weird. You look around, you're like, I don't know what, what people are wearing there. I don't know. It scared the hell off me, you know? So if you are having this such a beard, you will be, you will, you will like, you will go between the crowd. Nobody will notice because everything there is weird. Now you know why uh, Walmart? It's called Walmart. I mean, what are you expecting? People walking there like wolves. Anyway, anyway. May Allah guide them. So Muslims, after you pray to Allah and Allah guide Muhammad, Allah guide Muhammad to have a beard like this. Why? What happened exactly? I mean, what is the upgrade? Did you upgrade yourself by being become a blondie? Hmm? What, what, what happened? Is that like an upgrade of your statues in society? What's exactly the purpose of Muhammad doing such a thing? What is the purpose? Leave your comment and tell me if you're able to find out the purpose. I'm looking for the purpose and nothing else. Purpose with us as much as you can. If you are a Muslim and you have an answer, you know what? Maybe next time I'm going to go and make my topic, my common topic about the red beard of the Prophet. I think that will be an attractive topic. You know, if you have a beard like this, 
and they are still single. Can you imagine how many women they would go crazy for your beard? You will be the only one ever they met have a beard like this. The women, she will drop all her objection to you. Like maybe you are not smart, not educated, maybe you don't have money, maybe you don't have a good job, maybe, maybe. Maybe you look like me, scary. But the second she see your beard, oh, she will drop everything. She said, that's it. This is the, this is the, the prince who is going to kiss the frog. That's so beautiful. We have to admit that Muhammad is very, very special. And his beard is one of the special things about him. He's very special. What a crazy man. A racist. What's wrong with the black hair? You don't like it no more? Oh, the Jews, they color with the black hair. He's saying Khalifuhum. Anyway, I hope you guys have to have a good time today with us. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will bless you if you do that. Give you two deeds. Subscribe and subscribe. You subscribe, you lose one deed. You unsubscribe, Allah give you two deeds. So look what happened. Double. What a great investment. Hmm. Imagine you go to stock market, you buy one share, you sell it. They give you the price of two shares. Unbelievable. That is the good deeds of Allah. The perfect mathematics. So spend the day uh, subscribing and subscribing. So by the morning, you will have a big, big account with Allah. And then maybe you can afford it to have a red beard. Man, you are really weird, Muhammad. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you soon again, this is your brother, Christian Prince, who has serving your beard humbly for today. Take care.